Hi, Sarah Stanton reporting from her house again. I just did that Rolling Stone video. Got all my stuff out for this video here. This might be a little bit longer and I might get teary eyed. Um, anyway, here's the video upload screen. So as soon as I finish recording this, I'm going to upload it. It's all filled out. Today, see? It'll be finished by today. Anyway, Sunday, I made my boyfriend go to the Freedom Center with me. I went to the um, Freedom Sisters exhibit back in August. Um, went to that bodies exhibit in Cincinnati at the museum, that beautiful train station, old train station. Anyway, um, the bodies exhibit was really gross, and I asked the man how long it would take to go through it, and he said, hour and a half. <laughs> this girl was done in 20 minutes. Oh, my God. The only good thing was seeing, like, ventricles and, and arteries in these cases in this one room, but the rest of it was gross. I mean, people bodies torn apart, and boobs, like just off and gross, and little embryos and cases, it was just disgusting. Anyway, oh, I do believe in women having the right to choose. I went to the Freedom Center, and I took some pictures. Their website address is, I'll just read it, you can't see it, freedomcenter.org government, no it's not a government, it's a, what they call this thing, non-profit organization, freedomcenter.org, non-profit. Anyway, I took some pictures and downloaded them. Here's a poem, you see that, that says, written, written from a slave, someone that got stolen to work for free. <sighs> Tell my mother to pray for me. Tell my wife don't cry. Tell my girl be brave for me. Tell my son become a man for me and pass on my name. Tell the historian, tell the ugly truth of why they brought us here. Tell the rulers of this land don't let it happen again. Call B. Westmoreland. Well, it's not going to happen again. We know that. But the problem is, <laughs> gun sales are up. Okay? The white people are buying the guns. I know I'm white, but I'm British. I moved here when I was 16 in 1982. And I knew nothing about slavery or anything like that. I, I, Sorry, I don't remember learning anything about that in school. What I learned about was every other nation and the geographic structure. I learned about the Niagara Falls. I learned about the Grand Canyon. I learned about things like that. I learned about different cultures, but no one taught me slavery because it was taken away from the history books. I'm going to expose this shit. Tell the historical, tell the ugly truth of why they brought us here. Tell the rulers of this land, don't let it happen again. Well, the rulers of this land and every white man that's descendant from, um, you know, like original America that's lived there here all his life. Um, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm looking for another picture here. Here's one here. I want to show you this. This is me outside. My boyfriend took that. That building right there, right next to the Freedom Center. That building right there is PNC Bank. PNC Bank got bailed out by the government. Uh, isn't that weird? It's like right downtown Cincinnati. Here's another picture here. Um, okay, this one right here. This is me. That's right on the other side of where my Jeep was parked. And there's this bridge there. It's really cool. It's the Rain Man Bridge. And it does this metal noise when you go over it because it's made of metal on the bottom. So my tires go over it. It's really cool. And that is the river that captured slaves, captured people of color, had to cross to get to freedom. And then when they crossed, they had to find safe houses because not everybody in Cincinnati was for this revolution. <laughs> well, everybody in America better be ready for this revolution. I'm sorry. 
Revolution, like I've been playing in all my videos, John Lennon, Revolution, you know, wake up, everybody is created equal, peace and love, no one wants war, nobody wants war, so why are gun sales up? Come on. Anyway, let's go to some other pictures here, and I better turn it this way just in case we get something dirty. <laughs> here we go, this is really good. Right next to this one here. Okay, the place where the enslaved were held in the field in Germantown, Kentucky, in Holy Ground, is Holy Ground. The first names of the slave pens inmates left to us as public record that hides their real identities. This list is a memorial to the journey of the people who were held here. The Maryland, Carolina, Virginia, million, million, <laughs> fucking million. This building in which they were chained bears witness to their coming, to their going. This is going to really freak you out and really freak me out. That's why I am here exposing this. Two, I have names on the other side of the plaque. The names of enslaved African Americans contained in John W. Anderson's probate inventory of 1834. Slaves were considered chattel. People were considered chattel. I'm a realtor. A chattel is something that goes to the property. Not people. Jesus Christ. Anyway, look at this. The first slave name on the list is my brother, Simon. Simon. My brother Simon died 12 years ago from a gunshot. Simon is the first name on the list. Now, this place is only open like 10 to 5 and it's closed one day a week. They need people to become members so they can pay for more help, they can stay open longer. I think everybody in America that, you know, believes in freedom for everybody should go see this. You know, I don't know what color, what age, how far away you live. If you get to Cincinnati or you can get to Cincinnati, you know, plane, train, bus, walk, whatever, go visit the Freedom Center and an individual membership is, I think, $45. It's under 50 a family membership is like 85 bucks, I think. Um, it's under 100. They got their book here, but they don't. I've looked all through it. They don't have prices. So let me check here. Eight minutes, 11 seconds. Um, you guys need to check this shit out. And I'm just going to thumb through here. Here we go. I was sitting in this slave pen, feeling torment and despair and loneliness and inhumaneness and scaredness and we don't feel like real peopleness of the men, women and children that were captured. Captured and bought and sold like they were fucking dogs probably a place they had to sleep up there, but there's not, not enough room. I sat right there on that bench. I felt the pain. 9-12. I have to watch this time here. Okay, I want to show you these pictures here. Here's a real cool rug they have on the wall that was made by people, ancestries. Socks, those are really cool. Those socks are like filled up with stuff and they're within that tapestry. It's really cool. Look at this, people. Look at this. Look at that. Men in chains. And you should have got close to them like I did and saw the whip marks on their back. White men with a shotgun. That's how your gun cells were up. 
Look at that. I'm going to stop this more later. 10.07. Peace out.